What's going on guys, Austin Newman here, and recently we hit 50,000 subscribers in this community. We have grown so much since we started a year ago. I can't believe the growth that this community has seen, and I'm just so proud of this community. So thank you so much for supporting this channel over the last year. Of course, I want to continue the tradition of supporting filmmakers by offering a new preset pack. Today I am releasing a cinematic preset pack completely free, you can download it right now. Just head to this link in the description below, follow the prompts, and when it offers you to receive news and offers, make sure to tick that box as to I will be giving away new free presets, as well as having some flash sales on some of my premium products, so make sure to tick that box so you don't miss a thing. And of course, let's go ahead and show you the cool things that are inside this pack. All right, so we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got my footage loaded up on my timeline and I have my cinematic pack already imported. Now, good news for anybody who's not on Premiere, this also comes with a couple of crop bars. So if you're not on Premiere, you still get these crop bars that work in most editing platforms. I've got them for 4K timelines and HD timelines. I'm working on HD timeline, so I'm gonna be showing you that. If I drag the 185 crop in here, this is for CinemaScope. So you'll see these black lines at the top and bottom. If you are planning on like releasing your film in theaters, this is a really Really good frame for any post work you're doing on your feature film. Then if you have 239 crop, this is what you see in a lot of travel films as well as big feature films. It's, it's easy as that, just drag it over your footage. You can extend it out over multiple clips and you have a nice cinematic crop. Moving on to the presets, you can easily import these by going to your effects tab and clicking on this little icon here, import presets and select your preset file. Now you'll find them under your presets folder and Austin Newman cinematic presets. I've got seven really cool presets in this preset pack. These are things that I use frequently, so I wanted to share them with anybody who may be working in Premiere as well. So I have the cinema fade in. This is very simple. It's just drag, drop, and it will fade into your clip. Simple as that. This is different than just changing your opacity from zero to 100 because this is more of an exposure transition, so you'll see it kind of fades in. I have the same thing for cinema fade out. It does the same thing where it just kind of has like a nice little cinema fade out. Now the other thing that I have is a cinema zoom in. So if you add fake camera movement to a lot of your shots, you'll see that it creates a more dynamic video. So I have cinema zoom in, we'll drag and drop that on this clip, and you can see it's kind of zooming into our subject. Without it, it's just kind of static. It doesn't have as much of that feel to it. So if you want to add a little bit more passion to your shots, we want to draw into a subject's eyes, we can use this cinematic zoom in. Very simple, simple to add. Usually I recommend using this on clips from three to five seconds. It works best, but of course you can tailor it to whatever you are working on. Same thing with zoom out. If you want to kind of zoom out from something and reveal a scene around a character, something else you can add. Also three to five seconds is best, but tailor it to your own taste. The other thing that I have is a cinematic desaturate. Now what they say to do is you want to desaturate your highlights and shadows sometimes to get a more cinematic feel. You may not see a big change here on the screen recording, but when you do add this or just drag this on a clip, you'll see kind of the highlights and the shadows kind of desaturate slightly. So make sure to check this out and play around with this in your next color grading project. And finally, the last thing that I'm going to show you is HD Enhance. Now what this is, is an unsharp mask. You can simply add this onto your footage you're not going to see anything topical. If you're doing this for cinematic exhibition. This is something that you can use that'll really help you out when using like HD footage with 4K footage. Like I have HD right here and some of this other stuff is just scaled down 4K footage. So right here, uh, I have it zoomed in 400% so you can see. Go to effect controls and we're going to just kind of toggle this off. You'll see these little lines here kind of change. Now you can tailor this. I have some base settings that I like uh, for most of my projects I use. You don't really ever want to touch threshold the radius you want to be careful with because if you increase it too much you're basically just increasing the radius of these edges you don't really want to do that too much so kind of stick around one or less than one and your amount you also kind of want to be careful with because it can look really bad really quick it's basically nothing else than just sharpening at that point so make sure to check these out and play around with them to tailor and get the best look you can for your cinematic projects so that is the cinematic preset pack make sure to go head on over and download that completely free. Of course, subscribe to this channel if you're not already. And until next time, we'll see you later.